If we choose to accept Is to give this hat right here to Blippy Like this person right here up on the screen Because if you guys do not remember In my last YouTube video Like this one right here We literally found Blippy's hat All destroyed on the ground And the person that literally destroyed Blippy's hat is this person Right here up on the screen like F From Alphabet Lore So while we're searching around for Blippy So we can give him his brand new hat We also need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for F so that way he doesn't try to attack me or anything. And I need to stay prepared so that way I can fight him if I have to. But I guess before I waste any more time, let's go ahead and search around our yard to try to find Blippi so that way we can give him his brand new hat. Let's do this. So I put the hat on and then did an epic spin move into some parkour And then I got up and I jumped off the tire of this truck Kicking this trash can and just continued heading out to the road to try to find Blippi Alright, so as you guys can see, we are literally on our road right now And that is because the last place where we saw Blippi I was literally just right down here in the middle of our road So let's head over there to try to find him, come on So we started running over to the last area where we saw Blippi at Alright, so right here in the middle of the road is where we saw Blippi in our last YouTube video. Let's keep a very good bird's eye view out for him. Randolph, there's something right behind you. Oh my goodness. Guys, look in those weeds. Torg is right. Let's go check it out to see what it is. Say what? Guys, look, it's literally some sort of no. Like, it literally says something on it. Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it is that it says on it. All right, it says, I want to fight you, Blippi. Signed, F. No way. Guys, I know that we just found 2.79 seconds ago on the side of the road. It literally says, I want to fight Blippi on it. And it literally says that it is from F, like this person right here up on the screen from Alphabet Lord. Guys, this is absolutely insane, and I can't believe it. Like, F literally wants to fight Blippi in real life. And I wonder if they, like, have beef or something, because F literally already tore up Blippi's hat. And wait a minute, guys. Speaking of Blippi's hat, we need to rip and find Blippi so we can give him his brand new one. Let's get back to searching around for Blippi. Come on. So I started looking around for Blippi, and I did some parkour, and then I threw my piece of paper because I didn't need it anymore. And then we just continued to head back into our woods to search around that area to try to find Blippi because that was another area where I had recently seen him at. Alright, so we have now made it to our second destination where we are going to be searching around for Blippi at. And that is literally just right back there in our woods. Because back there is another area where we have found Blippi at in our recent YouTube videos. So we need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Blippi so we can give him his hat. Come on, let's go! Here we see random stuff. Searching around back in his woods to try to find Blippi. Will random stuff be able to find Blippi and give him the hat that he found at Dollar Tree? Stick around to find out. No way, guys! Unfortunately, we've literally been searching around for him for 2 minutes and 79 seconds now, and we haven't found him anywhere! Oh. Dang it! Guys, I wonder if Blippi literally read that note that we found on the road earlier that said that it was from F. And, like, maybe Blippi got scared because F literally said that he wanted to fight him. So, guys, I'm guessing that Blippi literally ran away so that way he doesn't have to fight F. So, sadly, we're not going to be able to give Blippi his new hat. No way, guys. This really sucks because I literally spent all my money on... Oh, my goodness. Guys, did you hear that? There's literally a barracuda. We got to get out of here. So, I hurried up and I ran away from the barracuda as fast as I possibly could so it wouldn't eat. Me. No way, guys, I can't believe it! We were almost just attacked by a barracuda! But luckily, we safely made it out of the woods before the barracuda could eat me! Let's go! But wait a minute! Guys, I don't have that hat anymore! I must have 
dropped it when we were running away from the oh Barracuda. I gotta go back and get that hat because I literally spent one dollar on it. Let's go get it. Come on. Even though there was a wild, vicious Barracuda out in the woods, I hurried up and ran out there so that way I could get my one dollar hat back. Say what? Guys, look, there's literally a note right there. And that's literally the same exact area where I dropped the hat at. And as you guys can see, the hat is no longer here. So I wonder if whoever it is that left us this note right here literally took the hat. I don't know. Let's hurry up and read the note to figure out what it says on it. All right. It says, I am fighting at on the road. Signed, Blippi. Oh, my goodness. Guys, so according to that note that we literally just found, it is literally from Blippi. And he's telling us, I am fighting F on the road. This is absolutely insane, and I guess Blippi is not scared of that. Because he literally just said that they're gonna fight on the road. So we need to hurry up and head back to our road so we can watch the fight. Come on! So after reading the note that we found from Blippi that literally said that he was gonna fight F, I hurried up and ran out to the road as fast as I possibly could so that way we could watch the fight. Alright, so we have now made it back out here onto our road. But I don't see Blippi or F any- Oh my goodness! Guys, it looks like there's someone standing way down there in the distance. Let's use my super high-tech binoculars to see who it is. <laughs> Say what? Guys, it's literally Blippi and he's just standing oh on the road. God. But I don't see F. You know, guys, F's right there. And oh my gosh, look, they're fighting. This is so intense. I wonder who's gonna win. F's literally running away now. I think that means Blippi literally won. Let's hurry up and go over there and congratulate Blippi on his win. <laughs> Say what? Guys, look, Blippi isn't there anymore. We gotta hurry up and head over there to try to find him. Come on. So we hurried up and we ran over to the spot where we just witnessed Blippi and F fight so that way we could hopefully find Blippi. No way, guys. I can't believe it. Blippi's literally gone. But that was absolutely insane. Like, we literally just watched Blippi and F fight in real life. And it looks like Blippi literally won. Because, like, F literally ran away from Blippi in the fight. So, guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about this. But if you guys have any ideas and make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what your guys' ideas are. But I don't know guys, this video has been super legitimately insane and we're gonna go ahead and end it right here but really quick, make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, they go and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. So man guys, all this running around that we've done today has made me extremely hungry and I'm also really tired, like I'm literally wearing my pajama pants right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna head inside and order 4,796 large pepperoni pizza what? and take me a 275 hour long nap. And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you on the no, That's a lot of damage. Yo, what is up, my dudes? <laughs> Well, guys, right now, something super mathematically legitimately insane is happening right now. I literally just got a notification on my phone right here from the news station. And you guys are never gonna believe what the news reporter had to say. Here's the video from the news. Breaking news, I am currently in the YouTuber Random Stuff's backyard and something super legitimately insane is happening. SpongeBob SquarePants has just been sighted out here in real life. So yeah, this is absolutely insane and I'm literally just gonna sit out here and look around for Spongebob while I eat my popcorn. What? So yes, that is right. As you just witnessed, the news reporter literally said Spongebob like this person right here up on the screen is literally out here in our backyard. But wait a minute, guys. That news reporter was literally eating my popcorn. Oh my this makes me so mad. I'm just gonna have to go over there and absolutely demolish that news reporter because because that was literally my popcorn. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we started searching around for SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, look, that's him right over there. Let's hurry up and go get my popcorn back back. So I hurry up and I head over to the news reporter guy to get my popcorn. News reporter, give me my popcorn. <laughs> Why you fooling me? Yes! We got the popcorn back! Let's go! Man, guys, I'm so ready to eat this popcorn! Say what? Guys, unfortunately!
apparently that stupid news reporter literally ate all of the popcorn! No! No! no God, please, no! But you know what, guys? It doesn't even matter! Even though my last snack was 7 minutes and 43 seconds ago, Whoa. and I am extremely hungry, we need to hurry up and look around our backyard to try to find SpongeBob SquarePants! Because like that news reporter was saying earlier, he literally saw him over here on a- What's this? Guys, I'm literally getting a phone call right now! Let's hurry up and check who it is! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, it's literally SpongeBob SquarePants! And he's calling me right now! Let's hurry up and answer the phone to see what he wants! Alright, I'm gonna click answer! SpongeBob, what do you want? I'm looking for someone <gasps> So what do you mean? Who are you looking for? Oh, no way! Guys, SpongeBob literally just hung up on me! But that was absolutely insane! Like, you guys literally just heard him say that he's out here looking for someone in our backyard! But unfortunately, he hung up without telling us who it was that he was out here looking for! Dang it! I don't know, guys! This is absolutely insane! And I guess right now our mission is to search around our backyard to try to find SpongeBob! Let's do this! Let's do this. So after getting off the phone with Spongebob, I hurried up and looked around my backyard everywhere to try to find him. Alright guys, so apparently we have literally been out here searching around for Spongebob for 12.74 seconds now. And we literally haven't even seen him once. Here, so there's something right behind you. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, Torg is right. No way, guys! It literally looks like it's like some sort of note or something! And maybe it's literally from SpongeBob SquarePants! I don't know, let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says on it! Oh, right, this note that we just found out here in our backyard literally says... I want... Blippi's new hat! Dying SpongeBob! Oh my goodness! I said note that we literally just found out here in our backyard literally says, I want Blippi's new hat! And at the bottom, it literally says that it is signed by Spongebob! Like this person right here up on the screen that was apparently just out here in our backyard! And Spongebob is literally saying that he wants Blippi's new hat, like the one that I gave him in this video right here! Guys, this is absolutely insane, and I'm guessing that the person that Spongebob Squarepants is literally out here in our backyard looking for is literally oh Blippi! And like, I wonder if Spongebob is gonna like try to fight Blippi or something so that way he can take the hat from him! I don't know guys, this is absolutely insane and we need to hurry up and continue looking around to try to find Spongebob So that way we can stop him before he like tries to attack Blippi or something Come on! So I hurried up and I headed back into my woods to look around for Spongebob Alright, so we have now made it out here to our super creepy woods Let's make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Spongebob Come on! So I started looking around for Spongebob back in our woods What's this? Guys, like, look, there's another note right there there. No way, I wonder if this one is from Spongebob as well! Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says on it! Alright, this note right here says... Me and Spongebob are going to fight! Signed, Blippi! Oh my goodness! Guys, that note right there that we literally just found out here in our woods says me and Spongebob are going to fight and it is literally signed by Blippi like this person right here up on the screen! But guys, unfortunately, as you can see on the note, it literally does not say where they're gonna be fighting at! But luckily, I'm an absolute genius! I think that Blippi and Spongebob are literally gonna be fighting out on our road! Because our road is where Blippi fought F in this video right here! Let's go see if they're out there, come on! After reading that note from Blippi saying that he was gonna fight Spongebob, we heard him and we headed out to our road to try to watch them fight! Alright, so we have now made it out here onto our road! But I literally don't see Blippi or Spongebob anywhere! Let's go head this way to try to find them! Oh my goodness! Guys, Blippi's literally standing right down there! Look! Let's use our binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of it! No way, guys! Him and Spongebob are literally fighting! Guys, this is so intense! And no way! Guys, the fight literally just ended! It looks like Spongebob ran away, but Blippi's still over there! Let's go interview Blippi! Come on! Wait, what? Guys, look! Blippi is gone! 
No way, we gotta go search for it! So I hurried up and I headed over to the spot where Blippi and SpongeBob were just fighting to try to find Blippi! <gasps> Alright, well apparently, Blippi literally must have ran away or something! Oh. Which if you guys do not remember in the video where Blippi and F fought like this one right here, Blippi literally ran away whenever we went over to try to talk to him! And unfortunately, he just did it for the second time! But guys, that was absolutely insane! Like, we literally just saw Blippi and SpongeBob fight in real life! Guys, this video has been super insane, and I have absolutely no idea what we should do about this! But if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do about this! Like, should we search around for SpongeBob out here in our backyard to try to find him and take the hat back to give it to Blippi? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But I don't know, guys, this video has been super legitimately insane! And just make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, that you go and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos! But guys, I guess for now, I'm just gonna head inside and eat 4,759 chicken nuggets. What? And then we will see you guys in our next YouTube video. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? Yo, guys, what the heck? Right, that's outside working out right now. Look. So there I was outside working out, whipping up this super heavy stick. Then I threw it and got down on the ground and started doing some push-ups because my New Year's resolution was to get super manly masculine muscle. Then I started doing some jumping jacks to help me get an even better shape. As you guys can see, it's working out super hard right now. Who well, little does random stuff know is that I have this present right here for him and it cost me $479 million. What? So guys, go and absolutely demolish that right button. Because one like it goes one pair for my bank account. Guys, let's hurry up and go give it to him. Random stuff, random stuff. <laughs> what in tarnation? Dork, what are you doing interrupting my workout? Uh, I was just going to tell you, I got you this present. No way. You got me a Christmas present. Guys, I hope it's some steroids. Right yeah. now, my New Year's resolution is to get some super manly masculine muscle. Let's hurry up and see what Dork got me. So I started ripping apart the box as fast as I possibly could. No way. Guys, look, Dork literally got me a Rolex. No way, I've always wanted one of these things. I bet this had to at least cost $26. What? This is literally the greatest gift ever. Thank you, Torg. Uh, random stuff, where's my present at? Oh my goodness. Torg, I almost forgot. I literally got Torg the greatest gift in the world. All right, my dudes, I'm going to reveal Torg's present. In seven, three. Five! Let's do this! Let's do this! And the gift that I literally got Torg is this Play-Doh right here! What? I know, seriously guys, in today's video we are gonna be doing something absolutely insane! Like right now our mission, if we choose to accept, is to literally do all of my New Year's resolutions in one day! Now the first thing I want to accomplish in this new year is become a professional NFL basketball player. Stupid. So I just got back from the Walmart dumpster where I got this football right here. And I am going to be training right now. Let's do this. So I started training to become a professional football player and then I threw the football and then I picked the football up and went to kick it but I fell on the ground and then I got back up and then I kicked it again. But I still had to learn how to tackle so I had a genius idea and that was for me to charge this disabled guy. Guys, I am now a professional NFL football player. Let's go. Alright guys, so now that we mastered throwing a football and kicking the football and also tackling that disabled man over there, I am now a certified NFL player! That's already one New Year's resolution down! But now it is time for us to start my second New Year's resolution! And that is for me to literally become a professional boxer! So I hurried up and started looking around my backyard, searching around for a worthy opponent that I could box to try on so that way I could become a professional UFC boxer. Oh, excuse me, so is that charity? Oh, 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 oh. 
<gasps> Get away! Guys, I'm now officially a professional boxer! I just knocked out that guy right there! Wait, what it be? Guys, that was literally all of my New Year's resolutions! Like, we literally just finished them all in one day like we wanted to! Now I can go inside and play Fortnite for the rest of the year! What? So I guess I'm gonna head inside and then we will see you guys- Oh my goodness! Guys, look, someone is standing right there! That literally looks like it's Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants! We gotta go over there and get him, come on! Hey, what? Guys, look, he's gone! We gotta go over there and search around for him! What's this? Guys, look, there's something dangling from that branch right there! No way, my dudes! It literally looks like it's a note or something! Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says on it! And maybe this is literally from Patrick Star! Alright, it says... I am... Going to... Fight Blippi! Oh my oh goodness! Is that note that we literally just found 7.849 milliseconds ago? Literally says, I am going to fight Blippi on it! But unfortunately, as you guys can see on the note, it literally doesn't say who is going to fight Blippi! Oh, yeah. well, luckily, I'm an absolute genius! I'm guessing that the person that's literally gonna fight Blippi is Patrick Star, like this person right here up on the screen! Because we literally just saw Patrick standing right here in the exact same spot where we found the note at! So he must have been the one that left it here for us! Guys, so right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to search around our backyard to try to find Patrick Star again! And ask him why he left us this note saying he's gonna fight Blippi! Let's go, come on! So I started searching all around my backyard to try to find Patrick! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, Blippi's standing right over there! Let's use my super high-tech binoculars so we can see him better! No way! Guys, him and Patrick are really fighting right now! We gotta hurry up and head over there, come on! Say what? Guys, look, they're both gone! Guys, I can't believe this! Patrick and Blippi were both literally just right here in our yard a second ago! And they were literally fighting each other! And unfortunately, now they're both gone! Like, I wonder where they even went! Where's up? Look, there's something right there! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, Torg is right! It looks like it's literally another note or something! Let's hurry up and read it! Alright, this note says... You are... Next! Signed Blippi! Oh my, my goodness! Guys, that note literally said you are next! And it literally says it is signed by Blippi! Guys, this is absolutely insane and Blippi's literally saying that he wants to fight me random stuff next! This is absolutely insane and I have no idea what we should do about this! If you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do next! Like, should we come back out here and maybe even try to fight Blippi? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But I don't know, guys, this video has been super legitimately insane! I cannot believe it, like, we literally just saw Patrick Star and Blippi fight in real life! But I don't feel safe being out here in our backyard anymore because Blippi literally wants to fight me! I'm gonna head inside and do 6,749 push so that way I can get in shape. And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? Oh, uh, guys, I can't believe random stuff's gonna go try and start working out consistently just to give up in two days. Instead of even trying and failing, I'm just gonna not even start. In fact, my New Year's resolution is to eat a lot more junk food. What? So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this triple bacon, triple patty, 8,000 calorie McDonald's sandwich. And then I will see you guys later. Peace out. Guys, right now, something super legitimately insane is happening. It was approximately 7.845 milliseconds ago. I was trying to get my brand new grill that I got from Walmart to work, but unfortunately it wouldn't turn oh, on. No! No, God, please, no! So guys, really quick, I need you to go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because one See? like equals one See? rare for my grill. So I slapped my oh. grill and then I looked over and that's when I saw something off in the distance. So I pulled out my binoculars. See?
Sora, so I get a super manly bird's eye view of it. And you guys are not gonna believe it, but I literally saw Choo Choo Charles. Yes, that is right, my dudes. I literally saw Choo Choo Charles like this person right here up on the screen. And he was literally just right over there in our backyard. Guys, this is super creepy. And if you do not already know, this Choo Choo Charles is like a super scary and dangerous character. And he might be back here in our yard so that way he can like try to hurt me or something. And this is even crazier because if you do not remember in my last YouTube video like this one right here, we literally found Blippi in the woods at 3 a.m. And in that video, we found a note from Blippi and he was like warning us that Choo Choo Charles is out here in our yard somewhere. I don't know guys, this is absolutely insane and I guess right now our mission if we choose to accept is to head over there to the other side of our pond where we saw Choo Choo Charles at earlier and try to confront him. And maybe I'm even gonna like try to beat him up or something because I got these super manly masculine muscles. Sure so I guess before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and go try to find Choo Choo Charles. Come on, let's go. So we started heading over to the last place where we saw Choo Choo Charles at so that way we could hopefully find him in real life. All right, so right over here in this area is where we literally saw Choo Choo Charles running at. Like he literally ran in that direction over there. We need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for him because he can literally be anywhere out here. Let's go look for him. Alright, so as you guys can see, our creek is literally flooded like the water is extremely high. So there's no way that Choo Choo Charles is back there in our woods because he wouldn't be able to make it across the water. So maybe Choo Choo Charles ran back there somewhere. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness! Guys, look, there's a note right there! And I wonder if this note literally came from Choo Choo Charles! Because this was like in the exact direction where we saw him run towards earlier! Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says on it! Alright, it says... Where is... Blippi? No way! Guys, that note that we just found right there on our tree 2.74 milliseconds ago literally says where is Blippi on it! And we are pretty sure that that note literally came from Choo Choo Charles! Because like we just saw I'm running around here in our backyard a second ago. Guys, this is super creepy and I wonder why Choo Choo Charles is asking us where Blippi is at. Like maybe Choo Choo Charles literally wants to attack Blippi or something. And that is why he is asking us where he's at. Guys, we can't let Choo Choo Charles beat up Blippi because Blippi's literally my best friend. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do about this. Like we need to warn Blippi so that way he doesn't get attacked by Choo Choo Charles. But unfortunately, we have no way to get in contact with Blippi. Oh. Guys, I don't know what we should do. Wait a minute. Guys, I'm an absolute genius. I forgot I literally have Blippi's phone number inside of my phone. Because, like, he literally sent me a message in our last YouTube video. Let's hurry up and send Blippi a message warning him that Choo Choo Charles is after him. <laughs> thousand years later. Alright, so I just sent Blippi a message and I told him that Choo Choo Charles literally wants to fight him. Now we literally just gotta sit around and wait on Blippi to send me a reply. 12 seconds later. Alright guys, so it's literally been like 12 whole seconds now and Blippi still hasn't responded to my message. Oh. And I'm starting to get like extremely tired so I'm just gonna lay down and take a nap while I wait on Blippi to send me a message. What? Uh. No way! Guys, Blippi just sent me a message! Let's see what he says! No way! Guys, Blippi literally just said that he's gonna fight Choo Choo Charles at 1 p.m. tomorrow! No way! This is absolutely insane and I can't believe this is happening! Like, Blippi and Choo Choo Charles are literally gonna be fighting each other tomorrow! This is super creepy and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to watch this fight to see who's gonna win! So I'm gonna hurry up and head inside and go to bed for the rest of the night and then wake up so we can watch the fight tomorrow! But really quick before I go take my 27 hour long nap, what? make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let us know who you think's gonna win the fight! But well, yeah, I'm gonna go take my nap now! Um, peace out until tomorrow!
the next day. Oh my yeah. gosh, so it is now the next day, and it is currently 1 p.m. And this is literally the time that Bleeping told us he was going to be fighting Choo Choo Charles at. So right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is for us to head over there to the spot where Choo Choo Charles left us the note at. Because that is probably where Blippi and him are going to be fighting at. Come on, let's go. So we hurried up and we headed over to the spot where Choo Choo Charles left us the note at. So that way we could hopefully watch Blippi and Choo Choo Charles fight. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, that's Blippi standing right there. I can't believe it! He's literally just standing right over there in our backyard! I wonder if he's waiting on Choo Choo Charles so that way they can fight! Let's use our super high-tech binoculars so we can get a better bird's eye view of this! Oh my god! Guys, Blippi and Choo Choo Charles are literally fighting right now! Wait, no way! Choo Choo Charles is running away right now! Guys, I think that means Blippi literally won the fight! Let's go check it out, come on! Say what? Guys, look, they're both gone! Oh my god! No way, Blippi and Choo Choo Charles were both literally just fighting right here in our backyard a second ago! But now, unfortunately, they are both gone! Oh. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, guys, that was absolutely insane! Like, we literally just watched Blippi and Choo Choo Charles fight in real life! And we are pretty sure that Blippi is the one that won the fight because we literally watched Choo Choo Charles run away! Guys, that was absolutely insane, and I cannot believe that we just witnessed that! And I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this! But if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do next! Like, should we come out here and search around our backyard to try to find Choo Choo Charles? Because we we literally just saw him run away from Blippi. Or do you guys have any other ideas? But guys, that's literally like the third or fourth Sing. fight that Blippi has already won on our YouTube channel. So that means that Blippi is like extremely good at boxing. And I don't want to be the next person to get in a fight with Blippi, so I'm going to hurry up and head inside where I am nice and safe and I'm also going to eat 7,469 marshmallows. What? And then we will see you guys in our next YouTube video. Um, peace Peace out until then. Why are you Guys, right now something super legitimately like insane is happening. Just approximately 6.847 milliseconds ago, I was outside eating my hamburger that I just stole from McDonald's. What? Whenever I spotted something off in the distance. So I hurried up and I ran over to the thing that I saw and you guys are not going to believe it, but I literally saw Blippi's hat. Yes, that is right. We literally saw Blippi's hat and I have it right here in my hands right now. Like this is super crazy and in order for this hat to get up here on our deck, that must mean that Blippi was up here as well. Guys, this is absolutely insane and I guess right now our mission, if we choose to accept, is to search around our backyard right now to try to find Blippi. Let's go search for it, come on. After finding Blippi's hat, we hurried up and started searching around our backyard to try to find him. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, it's a wild old man. Guys, maybe that old man knows where Blippi's at. Let's go talk to him. Old man, have you seen Blippi? Nope. Oh my god. Guys, the old man says he hasn't seen Blippi. This makes me so mad. I'm just gonna have to absolutely demolish that old man. On today's UFC boxing match, we have random stuff the super manly masculine man versus some random old dude. Who will win? Stick around to find out. Old man. Take this! Oh, 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 guys, this old man is way too strong! Oh, 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 he needs oh some God, man. somebody please help! Oh, no way! Guys, that old man just harassed me! We can't let him get away with this! We gotta go beat him up! So I pushed the old man down, oh, causing him to dislocate his spine, and then I started kicking him with my massive foot! And I just continued beating up the old man, and then I ran back and I John Cena him! Why are you pulling me? Oh, right after sending that old man to heaven and causing him to have crippling depression. What? We need to hurry up and get back to searching around our backyard to try to find Blippi. Because unfortunately, the old man didn't know where he was. So let's get back to searching for him. Come on. What's this? Guys, I literally just got a text message on my phone. Let's see who it's from. Oh, my goodness. Guys, the text message is literally from Curse Thomas. And he said, hello, random stuff. 
No way, guys! This is absolutely insane! Like, Curse Thomas, this person right here up on the screen literally just sent me a text message saying hello, random star! Guys, this is super creepy, and if you did not remember in my last YouTube video, like this one right here, Curse Thomas literally fought Choo Choo Charles in real life! And in that video, Curse Thomas literally beat up Choo Choo Charles in a fight! Guys, forget searching around for Blippi, our new mission if we choose to accept is to search around our backyard to try to find Curse Thomas! Thomas and figure out why he just sent me a text message saying hello random stuff on it and my dudes I'm an absolute genius we need to hurry up and head out there to our road like where we saw Choo Choo Charles and Curse Thomas fight at in our last YouTube video to see if Curse Thomas is still over there because like since that is the last place where we saw him at there's a good chance that he is still there let's go head out to our road come on so I hurried up and I started running up to our front yard as fast as I possibly could so that way we could get up there to search around for Curse Thomas! And I was prepared to fight him off with my muscles if I had to! No way, guys! Unfortunately, Curse Thomas isn't anywhere out here on the road! Like, this doesn't make any sense! Like, I figured he would be out here because we literally saw him out here on the road in our last YouTube video! But apparently, he must have, like, ran somewhere else because he is no longer out here! But I'm not about to give up that easily! Let's hurry up and head down farther on our road and continue searching around for him! Come on! So I started running around on my road searching around for Curse Thomas and I was prepared to run for miles Whenever I started to get extremely what exhausted, the? so I laid down to take a nap What this? Guys, look, there's some sort of piece of paper right here No way, guys, I can't believe it It's literally like some sort of note or something And I literally just spotted it out of the corner of my eye Whenever I was laying down to take a nap because I was about to pass out from heat exhaustion Let's hurry up and read this note to figure out what it says on it. All right, it says, where is Blippi? Signed, Curse Thomas. Oh my goodness. Guys, this note that we just found out here on our road literally says, where is Blippi? And it's signed by Curse Thomas. Like literally the same exact person that sent me that text message on my phone earlier. Guys, this doesn't make any sense. Like I wonder why Curse Thomas would even leave us a note out here on our road asking us where Blippi is. Like I wonder why Curse Thomas is trying to find him. What's this? Guys, I just got another text message on my phone. Maybe it's from Curse Thomas. Say what? Guys, the text message is actually from Blippi. I wonder why Blippi sent me a text message. Let's hurry up and read it. And the text message that Blippi sent us literally says, I'm fighting Curse Thomas in your backyard. No way. Guys, Blippi literally just told us that he's fighting Curse Thomas out in our backyard right now. We gotta hurry up and head to our backyard right now so we can watch the fight! So I hurried up and I started running out to our backyard as fast as I possibly could so that way I could watch Curse Thomas and Blippi fight in real life! Alright guys, so we're now out here in our backyard! And as you can see, I literally don't see Blippi or Curse Thomas anywhere! Like guys, Blippi literally just sent me that message on my phone telling me that they were fighting out here in our backyard! But I literally don't see either of them anywhere out here! Maybe they're gonna be fighting later to- Oh my goodness! Guys, I think that's literally Blippi and Curse Thomas on the other side of our pond! But I can't tell they're so far away. Let's use our super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view. Oh my goodness. Guys, that is actually them. And no way they're fighting. There's a big cloud of smoke, but I can't even see them. I wonder who's going to win. No way. Guys, the cloud of smoke is gone. And Curse Thomas is literally running away right now. But I don't see Blippi anywhere. Guys, I wonder what happened to Blippi. Like, he literally wasn't there when the cloud of smoke disappeared. We gotta go over there and check this out. Come on. So we are that we started running over to the spot where we just saw Blippi and Curse Thomas fight at. Guys, this doesn't make any sense. Like, as you guys saw, whenever the cloud of smoke disappeared, Blippi literally wasn't there. Guys, maybe Curse Thomas literally ate Blippi. No way, guys. This is absolutely insane, and I can't believe it. We literally just watched Blippi and Curse Thomas fight in real life. And sadly, I think Blippi is literally dead now. Oh. Rest in peace, Blippi. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this, but if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do next. Like, should we come out here to try to find Choo Choo Charles again? And maybe even, like, try to figure out what happened to Blippi? Or do you guys have any 
any other ideas. But guys, this video has been super legitimately insane. And just make sure really quick, if you guys are not already subscribed, that you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button. So that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. All right, guys, I don't feel safe being out here in my own backyard because Choo Choo Charles might beat me up like he just did Blippi. So I'm gonna head inside and put my $75 trillion Rolex on Craigslist and sell it so that way I can move to Hawaii to get away from Curse Thomas. What? And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you on Before we get to the part that you guys clicked on this video for right now, I need you all to go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because if this video gets 1,000 likes, I will literally jump inside of our freezing cold pond. Wait a minute. Guys, I'm literally trapped inside of this box. And I don't know how to get out. I guess we're just going to have to absolutely demolish this box. So I started using my professional ninja moves to break free from the box. Yes. We successfully made it out of the box. Let's go. But no, seriously, guys, in today's video, what we are actually going to be doing is searching around our backyard to try to find Blippi like this person right here up on the screen. Because if you guys do not remember in our last YouTube video like this one right here, we literally saw Blippi and Curse Thomas fight in real life. And it literally looked like Curse Thomas ate Blippi or something. Because like whenever Blippi and Curse Thomas were done fighting and the smoke cleared away, Blippi was no longer there. So in today's video, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to try to figure out what happened to Blippi. So I guess if we're wasting any more time, Let's just go, like, search around our backyard to try to find him. Come on! So I hurried up and I started to go to the last place where we saw Blippi yeah, so that way we could hopefully find him and figure out what happened to him. All right, so just right here in this general area is where we literally saw Blippi and Curse Thomas fight at in our last video. So we need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for him because he could be anywhere over here. And we also got to make sure that we're looking out for Curse Thomas because he could be somewhere out here and he might try to eat me. But luckily for me, I brought my super manly masculine muscles as a defensive weapon that will keep me safe and protected. Protected. So there's absolutely no chance that Curse Thomas is gonna try to fight me. But alright, let's look around for some clues to figure out what could have happened to Blippi. So I started searching around the area where we saw Blippi and Curse Thomas fight in our last YouTube video so that way we could try to find some clues to figure out what happened to Blippi. Alright guys, well unfortunately we just searched around this whole entire area like where we last saw them at and unfortunately we didn't find Blippi or any clues of him out here. Maybe he like ran back in our woods or something but as you can see our creek is literally flooded so we can't get back there. So guys I don't know what we should do next like I don't see Blippi or anything out here anywhere and apparently he must be like wait a minute guys I'm an absolute genius. I literally have Blippi's phone number inside of my phone. We can try FaceTiming Blippi to see if he's okay and maybe figure out where he's at as well. Let's hurry up and call him. Alright, I'm literally FaceTiming Blippi right now and hopefully he answers. No way. Guys, Blippi just answered the FaceTime call. Blippi, where are you? I'm in your backyard. You're in our backyard? Where? No way. Guys, Blippi just hung up the FaceTime call and literally all he told us was he's out here in our backyard. But my dudes, according to my super mathematical Google Maps calculations, it appears that Blippi was literally up by our shed. Let's hurry up and head over there to try to find him. Come on. So I hurried up and I headed up to our shed to see if Blippi was actually over there. All right, so as you guys can see, our shed is literally just right there. And on the FaceTime call with Blippi, it literally looked like you could see the shed and part of our fence in it. So I'm pretty sure that Blippi is literally just right on the other side of our shed. Let's go over there and get him. Come on. Oh my goodness! Guys, look! Blippi's not there! No way, guys! Unfortunately, Blippi must have turned into, like, Usain Bull and ran out of here super fast before we could come over here and confront him! But guys, now we know that Blippi is okay! Like, he didn't die from Curse Thomas! Because we literally just FaceTimed him on my cell phone! And literally the only thing that he told us was he was out here in our backyard and then he just hung up! But guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's literally been, like, 2 minutes and 63 seconds since I last had something to eat! And after running around our backyard searching around for Blippi, I am getting, like, extremely hungry! So, I'm just gonna head to Waffle House and eat- What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone! And no way! It's 
literally from Blippi. He said, I'm gonna fight Curse Blippi. No way. Guys, Blippi, like the person that literally just FaceTimed me, just sent me a text message saying that he's gonna fight Curse Blippi. Which, no way, in order for Blippi to be fighting Curse Blippi, that must mean that Curse Blippi is out here in our backyard as well. Because Blippi just told us that he was out here. Guys, this is super creepy, and apparently Blippi is literally gonna be fighting Curse Blippi out here in our backyard. And I have absolutely no idea who's gonna win this fight. But if you guys think you know who's gonna win, then make sure that you go in the comment section down below and let me know if you think Blippi or Curse Blippi is gonna win this fight. But right, guys, I'm still like extremely hungry, so I'm gonna head to Waffle House and eat me 6,774 pancakes. What? And then we will see you guys whenever we watch Curse Blippi and Blippi fight. Um, goodbye until then. <laughs> Why are you running? The next day. Guys, right now something super legitimately yeah, yeah, yeah. insane is happening. I literally just got a text message on my phone from Blippi. And the text message from Blippi literally says I'm fighting Curse Blippi in the cornfield right now. So my dudes, according to that text message that Blippi sent us, he is literally fighting Curse Blippi out in that cornfield over there. We need to hurry up and head out there right now so we can watch the fight. Come on, let's go. So I hurried up and I started heading out to the spot where Blippi told us he was going to be fighting Curse Blippi so that way we could watch the fight. Oh my goodness! Guys, that's literally Blippi and Curse Blippi on our cornfield right now! Let's use our super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this! No way! Guys, that's literally Blippi and Curse Blippi! And they're both just standing there doing absolutely no- Oh my gosh! Guys, they're fighting each other right now! There's like a super big cloud of smoke! I wonder who's winning! Guys, this is absolutely insane! Blippi and Curse Blippi are literally fighting right now! And all we can see is just a giant cloud of smoke! smoke from them fighting each other. Guys, they're still out there in the cornfield fighting each other. We need to hurry up and head out there and get closer to the fight so that way we can watch it better. Come on! Oh, what? Guys, look, they're gone! No way! Blippi and Curse Blippi were literally just fighting right out there in our cornfield a second ago and now they're both just gone! We gotta go over there and check it out! What's this? Guys, I literally just got a text message on my phone! See? And no way! It's literally from Blippi! And he said, no more curse Blippi! No way! Guys, Blippi literally just sent me a text message saying, no more curse Blippi! Which means that Blippi must have, like, absolutely demolished curse Blippi in that fight! But unfortunately, we didn't even get to see what happened because there was just a big cloud of smoke! But apparently, according to the message that Blippi just sent us, he literally told us that he beat up curse Blippi! Which is absolutely insane! Now, guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this. Like, if we should come back out here and try to find Blippi again, or maybe even search around for Curse Blippi. But if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should do next. But, guys, this video has been super legitimately insane. Like, we literally just watched Blippi and Curse Blippi fight in real life. So, now that the fight is over, there is absolutely nothing else for us to do in this video. So, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. But, really quick, make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed then you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future youtube videos but guys i probably shouldn't be out here in the open where blippy can easily see me because he might come out here and try to fight me so i'm just gonna head inside and eat me 6745 cans of spinach so that way i can try to get super strong and then we will see you guys next time um peace out until then why are you guys right now? Something super oh legitimately insane is happening. Just approximately 6.847 milliseconds ago, I was outside just walking around on a nice sunny day whenever I saw a random oh. robot. So I hurried up and I charged at the robot, attacking it before it could destroy all of humanity. And I threw him and ran over and John Cena did. And then I started punching it with my bare fist, but that's whenever I got a text message on my phone. And you guys are never gonna believe this, but the text message was literally from Sonic, like this person right here up on the screen. Yes, that is right, my dude. Sonic the Hedgehog literally just sent me a text message in real life. And the text message that he sent me literally says, Choo Choo Charles just had a baby. Oh my goodness. Guys, the text message that Sonic literally just sent me on my phone 3.84 milliseconds ago. Literally says Choo Choo Charles just had a baby. Guys, this is extremely weird. Why would Sonic the Hedgehog be telling?
telling us this? I have absolutely no idea why he would send us that text message, but this is super crazy. Like, apparently, Choo Choo Charles, this person right here up on the screen, literally just had a baby. Guys, this is super legitimately insane, and I guess right now our mission, if we choose to accept, is to search around our backyard to try to find baby Choo Choo Charles in real life. And we also gotta make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Sonic the Hedgehog because he could be out here anywhere as well. But alright, I guess we're wasting any more time. Let's go ahead and start searching around for him. Come on! So I started searching around my backyard looking around for baby Choo Choo Charles because Sonic the Hedgehog literally sent me a text message saying that he was out here in our backyard. And I also was making sure that I was looking out for Sonic as well. Alright guys, so we literally just searched around like our whole entire backyard and unfortunately we didn't see baby Choo Choo Charles anywhere. So I'm guessing that they must be like back in our woods or something. But sadly, as you guys can see, our creek water is like extremely high and it is way too dangerous for us to cross it. But wait a minute, guys, I'm an absolute genius. I know another way we can safely get across our creek so we can go search around in our woods to try to find baby Choo Choo Charles. Follow me. So I started heading over to the other area where I could safely cross our creek and get over there so I could get back into our woods to search around for baby Choo Choo Charles. Guys, this is extremely dangerous and I'm literally risking my life for this like I could die. So make sure you guys go down below and absolutely demolish that like button because by you liking the video, you're wishing me luck that I'll safely make it across. So I started making my way across the tree so that way we could get to the other side and get back in our woods. <laughs> Alright, so we just made it back here in our super creepy woods. Let's go search around for baby Choo Choo Charles. Here we see random stuff searching around back in his woods to try to find baby Choo Choo Charles. Will random stuff be able to find him out in his woods? Stick around to find out. What's this? I just got another text message on my phone. Maybe it's from Sonic. Let's see what he wants. Oh my goodness. Guys, the text message is actually from Choo Choo Charles. And he said, I'm on your road right now. No way, guys. Choo Choo Charles literally just sent me a message saying that I'm on your road right now. Right now, but unfortunately, we're all the way back in our woods, and our road is like 364 seven kilometers away. Guys, I gotta hurry up and use my super manly masculine muscles to run up to our front yard as fast as I can. Come on, let's go. After getting that text message from Choo Choo Charles, I hurried up and ran out of our woods as fast as I possibly could so that we could get up to our road so that we, we could confront him in real life. But first, I had to cross this super dangerous tree again. Come on, Torg, hurry. Up. All right, guys, me and Torg are now safely across. Let's go out to the road. So I hurried up and I ran up to our road as fast as I possibly could. All right, so our road is literally just right out there. And that's where Choo Choo Charles told us he was at. Let's go head out there and hopefully he doesn't try to attack me. Come on. So we started creeping up to our road looking around for Choo Choo Charles. Oh, my goodness. Guys, look, that's Choo Choo Charles right there. Choo Choo Charles is literally running after us! We gotta get out of here! So I ran up and I ran inside of my house as fast as I possibly could so that we could get away from Choo Choo Charles! No way, guys! I can't believe that Choo Choo Charles was literally actually on our road! And he was chasing after us like he was gonna absolutely demolish me! But luckily, we're now safe inside our house and I need to make sure I lock all the doors so that way he can't get in! Let's check and see if he's still outside! I don't see him anywhere out there. All right, guys, I think Choo Choo Charles is gone. That was literally like the scariest moment of my life. He literally was charging after me like he was going to attack me. I wonder if baby Choo Choo Charles was over there and that's why Choo Choo Charles charged after me. Because like maybe he was trying to protect his baby or something. Guys, after all that super intense dramatic action, I am like extremely exhausted and also super tired. So I'm just going to take a really quick 734 hour long nap to get my energy back and then we'll go search around for baby choo choo charles later on um, peace out until later the next day all right guys so it is now the next day and something super legitimately insane is happening i literally just got a text message on my phone from baby choo choo charles and he said i am fighting blippy right now this is super crazy and we need to hurry up and search around for them so that way we can watch them fight. oh my goodness guys that's literally blippy and choo choo charles on the other side of our pond 
no way, I think that's literally Blippi and baby Choo Choo Charles! Let's use our binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this! No way, guys! That is Blippi and baby Choo Choo Charles! And oh my goodness! Baby Choo Choo Charles just jumped at Blippi and now they're fighting like there's a big cloud of smoke! Oh wait! The fight's literally over and baby Choo Choo Charles is running away! Guys, we gotta hurry up and head over there to the other side of our pond to figure out what happened! <gasps> Hey, boy! Guys, look! Blippi is gone! No way! We gotta go try to find him! So I hurried up and I hit it over to the spot where we just saw Blippi and baby Choo Choo Charles fight at so that way we could hopefully find them! Alright, so literally just right here in this exact spot is where we just witnessed Blippi and baby Choo Choo Charles fighting at! And Blippi was just standing right over here when the fight ended and we saw baby Choo Choo Charles running that way! But sadly, I don't see either of them out here anywhere! Oh. Dang it! Let's hurry up and look around for Blippi! What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone! And no way! It's literally from Sonic! And he said, I wanna fight Blippi next! Oh my goodness! Guys, Sonic the Hedgehog literally just sent me a text message on my phone saying, I wanna fight Blippi next! Guys, this is absolutely insane and apparently Sonic literally wants to try to fight Blippi! But I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this, like if we should come back out here to try to find Baby Choo Choo Charles? Or maybe even come out here to try to watch Sonic and Blippi? Be fight. I don't know if you guys have any ideas on what we should do in our next YouTube video, then make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think. And also, really quick before this video ends, make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, then you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is out here in our yard somewhere, and I better get inside before he tries to beat me up. So I'm gonna head inside and eat 7,864 mini corn dogs, and then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you not Guys, in today's video, something super legitimately insane is happening right now. Just 6.748 milliseconds ago, I was outside seeing how long I could keep this beach ball in the air for. And then that's whenever it blew away from me and I was no longer able to keep it up in the air. And then out of nowhere, I started to get extremely hungry. And that's whenever I saw something off in the distance. So I pulled out my binoculars so that way I get a super manly bird's eye view of it. And the thing that I saw was literally a suitcase. So I ran onto the suitcase as fast as I possibly could to try to figure out if it had some food inside of it. And then I opened it up, but unfortunately there was no food inside of it. No, God, please, no. And then that's whenever I had a super genius idea. And that idea was for me to literally eat the briefcase. What? So I started eating the briefcase, but that's whenever I spotted something off in the distance. So I pulled out my super high-tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of it. And you guys are not going to believe it, but it was literally a piece of paper. Yes, that is right, my dudes. There is literally a piece of paper out here in our backyard, and it is literally just right over there. So right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to head over there to that piece of paper to try to figure out what it is. And hopefully it's like a map leading me to 6,749 McDonald's chicken nuggets what? because I am still like extremely hungry. Now whoever it was that put that piece of paper over there could be like extremely dangerous and might try to hurt me. And that is exactly why I'm going to be bringing this robot with me as a defensive weapon that will keep me safe and protected. Protected. Now guys, unfortunately this robot doesn't have a oh. name. And he's like extremely sad because of that. So make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think we should name that robot. But alright, I guess for wasting any more time, let's go ahead and head over there to try to figure out what this piece of paper is. Come on, let's go! So after spotting that piece of paper through my binoculars, I hurried up and started heading over there so that way we could see what the piece of paper was. Alright, so as you guys can see, the piece of paper is just dangling from this tree branch right here. And no way! I Dude, it literally looks like it says something on it. Like it's some sort of note or something. Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says on it. All right, it says, where is Blippi? Oh my goodness. Guys, apparently whoever it was that left us that note right here on this branch literally is asking us where is Blippi. But guys, as you can see on the note, it literally doesn't say who it's from. So like we have absolutely no idea who is asking us where is Blippi. And like I wonder why whoever left us this
this note is trying to find Blippi. Like, maybe they literally want to find him or something. I don't know, guys. This is super crazy. And I guess right now our new mission, if we choose to accept, is to search around our yard to try to figure out who it was that left us that note asking us where is Blippi. Let's go search for them. After reading that note asking us where is Blippi at, we hurried up and started searching around our yard to try to figure out who it was that left us that note. And we were also keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Blippi to try to find him as well. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And oh my goodness. Guys, it's literally from Sonic. And he said, I'm the one that left that note. No way. Guys, Sonic the Hedgehog, like this person right here up on the screen, literally just sent me a text message 2.7849 milliseconds ago, telling me that he is the one that left that note earlier. Like literally the one that we found out here in our backyard that said, where is Blippi at on it? Guys, this is super legitimately insane. And apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is literally asking us, where is Blippi? But unfortunately, we have no idea where Blippi is at. So sadly, we can't let Sonic know where he is. But guys, right now, we're gonna hurry up and search around our backyard to try to find Blippi. So that way we can let Sonic know where he is at. Let's go search around for him. So I hurried up and I started searching around my backyard to try to find Blippi so that way we could let Sonic know where he is at. And then I headed back into my woods to search around for him back there. <laughs> All right, so we are now back here in our super creepy woods. And we're gonna be searching around for Blippi back here so that way we can let Sonic know where he is at. And we're also gonna make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Sonic as well. Let's go search for him. So now that we had made it back in our woods, we hurried up and started searching around for Blippi to try to find him. Oh my goodness! Guys, look, that's Blippi right there! No way, guys, that's literally Blippi and he's just out here in our woods! We gotta go over there and get him, come on! Say what? Guys, look, Blippi is gone! We gotta go over there and try to find him, come on! After just seeing Blippi out in our woods, we hurried up and headed over to the spot where we had just stolen him so that way we could hopefully find him again! No way, guys! Unfortunately, Blippi is literally gone! Like, he was literally just standing right here a second ago and then he just disappeared out of nowhere! Well, guys, now that we know where Blippi is at, we can literally message Sonic telling him that Blippi is out here in our woods! Let's hurry up and send him a message on my phone! So I hurried up and I sent the text message to Sonic! Two thousand years later. Alright, so I just sent Sonic a text message saying that Blippi is out in our woods. And now I guess there's literally nothing we can do but sit around and wait for Sonic to send us a text message. So there I was just waiting for Sonic to send me a message when I started getting extremely exhausted. So I decided to lay down on this log and take me a nap until Sonic sent me a message. Twelve seconds later. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone! Let's see if it's from Sonic! See? No way! It is from Sonic! And he said, I'm gonna fight Blippi! No way! Sonic literally said that he wants to fight Blippi! I wonder when they're gonna be fighting like I'm guessing they're getting ready to fight right now! Because since we just told Sonic that Blippi was out here in our woods, Sonic must be on his way right now out here to our woods to try to find Blippi! But alright, I guess we're wasting any more time Time. Let's go ahead and start searching around our woods to try to find them so we can watch the fight. Come on. After getting that text message on my phone from Sonic saying that he was going to be fighting Blippi out in our woods, we hurried up and started searching around so that way we could watch them fight. And we just continued heading farther back into our woods hoping to find them. No way. Guys, look, that's Blippi standing right over there. No way, that's literally Blippi and he's just standing right over there. Let's use our binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this. No way, guys, that's actually Blippi and he's just standing there. But I don't see Sonic anywhere. Like, maybe he's on his way to come fight us. Oh, my gosh, that was Sonic right there and he's literally fighting Blippi like there's a big cloud of smoke. No way, I can't believe this. They're actually fighting each other right now. I wonder who's going to win this fight. Oh, my goodness. Guys, Sonic literally just ran away from the fight. No way, it literally looks like Blippi won. Let's go over there and check it out! No way! Guys, look! Blippi is gone! We gotta go over there and try to find him! So we hurried up and we headed over to the spot where we just saw Sonic and Blippi fight us so that way we could hopefully find Blippi or Sonic! Alright! 
right, guys. Well, unfortunately, both Blippi and Sonic are gone. Like, they are no longer over here in the area where they were just fighting each other at. But that was super crazy. Like, as you guys just saw, we literally watched Blippi and Sonic fight each other in real life. And it looks like Blippi won the fight because Sonic literally ran away from him. Guys, that was absolutely insane, but I have absolutely no idea what... What's this? Guys, I just got another text message on my phone. And it's literally from Blippi. And he said no one will ever beat me in a fight. No way, guys. I can't believe that Blippi would say that. Like, he literally just sent me a text message saying that no one will ever beat him in a fight. Maybe he's right. Like, apparently, no one is able to beat Blippi. So, right now, what I need you to do is go down in the comment section below and let me know who you guys think should fight Blippi next. Like, who do you guys think is strong enough to actually beat him in a fight? But, guys, I know I'm not strong enough to beat Blippi in a fight, so I need to hurry up and get out of our woods so that way he doesn't attack me. So, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here, but I really do hope you all enjoyed it. And just make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, that you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But I guess I'm just gonna head inside and read some of your guys' comments to try to figure out who can beat up Blippi next. And I'm also still, like, extremely hungry because I never got to eat any food earlier. So I'm gonna go spend all my money to order 674 million McDonald's chicken nuggets, what? and then we will see you guys next time. On peace out until then. Why are you running? Well, oh, guys, apparently Sonic and Blippi are both down here. I gotta hurry up and hide so they don't absolutely demolish me. Because I'm super weak. Like, unfortunately, I skipped the gym for 300 days straight. And yesterday, I tried to pick up a Pringle out of the Pringle can. And it was too heavy. What? Like, I literally fractured my pinky. So now I'm disabled. I gotta get out of here, my dudes. I'm gonna go hide behind one of these trees. All right, they shouldn't be able to see me back here. I'm gonna just grab onto this super sturdy branch right here and just hide out and we will see you guys later. Oh! Oh. Guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening! This is approximately 6.7849 milliseconds ago. I was outside doing some super intense parkour whenever I did some pro ninja moves over this trailer, and that's whenever I started to get extremely hungry. So I started using my super manly bird's eye view skills to look around our backyard to try to find me some food, and that's whenever I saw a banana. So I hurried up and I grabbed it and I took a bite out of it, but that's whenever I got a notification on my phone. So I pulled my cell phone out of my pocket and you guys are never gonna believe it, but I literally got a text message from someone. And the person that I got a text message from was literally Mario. Yes, that is right, my dudes. Mario literally just sent me a text message 2.7849 milliseconds ago. And the text message literally says, I am stronger than you. Oh my goodness. Guys, apparently the text message that Mario literally sent me is saying that he is stronger than me. Like, that's what he's literally saying. There's absolutely no way Mario is stronger than me. Like, I literally got these super manly masculine muscles. Guys, in today's video, my mission, if I choose to accept, is to search around our whole entire backyard to try to find Mario. So that way I can beat him up with my bare fist and show him that I am stronger. Now, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Recently, I haven't been going to the gym. Like, it's literally been seven whole years since I last worked out. So really quick, before we search around for Mario, I'm gonna work out so that way I can get in better shape to beat him up. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I started binge pressing this log so that way I can get stronger and be able to beat up Mario in a fight. And then I threw the log and started doing some super manly masculine push-ups so that way I can get super strong. And then I got up and I started curling the log so that way I can get super manly biceps. And then after doing my workout, I just started searching around my backyard to try to find Mario. Rex, have you seen Mario anywhere? Nope. No way, Rex says he hasn't seen Mario. This makes me so mad. I'm just going to have to absolutely demolish Rex. Rex, take this. <laughs> Oh, After sending Rex to the gulag, we hurried up and got back to searching around our backyard to try to find Mario. And then I went across this super sketchy looking tree so that way we could get back in our woods to search around for him back there. <laughs> Alright, so we are now back here in our super creepy woods. We need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Mario because he could be out here somewhere. Let's go look.
look for him. So now that we are back in our woods, we hurried up and started searching around the whole entire area so that way we could hopefully find Mario and confront him. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way. It's literally from Blippi. Guys, Blippi literally just sent me a text message on my phone. And he said, I'll beat Mario in a fight. He's super short and weak. Oh my goodness. Guys, I can't believe it. That was literally Blippi that just sent me a text message on my phone. And he just said that he would beat Mario up in a fight. No way, my dudes. This is super crazy. And it looks like Blippi's literally got beef with Mario. We need to hurry up and get back to searching around for Mario so that way we can tell him that Blippi wants to fight him. Come on. After getting that text message from Blippi, we hurried up and started searching around our backyard to try to find Mario so that way we could tell him what Blippi just told us. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, that's Mario right there. No way, I can't believe it, Mario's literally out here in our woods! We gotta go get him! Oh, what? Guys, look, he's gone! We gotta go search for him! After just seeing Mario in our woods, we hurried up and ran over there so that way we could hopefully find him again! No way, guys! I wonder where Mario could have gone! Like, he was literally just right here a second ago, and he just disappeared out of nowhere! Oh. Look, guys, that was absolutely insane! Like, we literally just saw Mario out here in our woods! And he was just standing here doing absolutely nothing! But then whenever we ran over here to, like, try to confront him, he just disappeared out of thin air! And now I have no idea where he is at! But, my oh, dudes, I want wonder if Mario is literally hiding from Blippi so that way Blippi can't beat him up. Because like Blippi literally sent us that text message saying that Mario is super weak and very short. So maybe Blippi is literally bullying Mario. Guys, this is absolutely insane and I don't want to be out here in our woods anymore because like Blippi might try to attack. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way, it's literally from Mario. And he said, I'm not afraid of Blippi's weak small biceps. I'm going to fight him tomorrow. No no way, guys! Mario literally just told us that he's gonna be fighting Blippi tomorrow! Guys, I don't know why Blippi and Mario are beefing, but apparently they're gonna be fighting each other tomorrow! And really quick, before we watch this fight, make sure that you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think is gonna win! But guys, I guess the fight isn't until tomorrow, which is literally like 364 hours away! And after running all the way back here in our woods, I am like really hungry! So I'm gonna run to Chipotle and give me six 674 taco chalupas and then we will see you guys when the fight happens um goodbye until then the next day guys it is now the next day and something absolutely insane is happening i literally just got a text message on my phone 2.789 milliseconds ago and it's literally from blippy and he said i'm fighting mario right now in your cornfield guys this is absolutely insane and according to that text message that blippy literally just sent me he is literally telling us that him and mario are out there fighting in our cornfield so right now we're gonna hurry up and head out there to our cornfield so we can watch them fight each other now, just in case if Blippi or Mario try to attack me, I'm gonna be bringing this random crutch with me as a defensive weapon to keep me safe and protected. Protected. But all right, I guess before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and head out there to our cornfield so that way we can watch them fight each other. Come on, let's go! So we hurried up and we started yeah. heading over to the cornfield so that way we could watch Blippi and Mario fight each other to figure out who would win. All right, so our cornfield is literally just right there behind me. We need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view Go for Blippi and Mario because this is where they told us they were going to be fighting at. Oh my goodness! Guys, look, that's literally Blippi right over there! Guys, I can't believe it. That's actually him and he's out here in our cornfield. Let's use our super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this. Guys, no way! Blippi and Mario are both literally just staring at each other right now. And oh my gosh, they're fighting each other. There's a big cloud of smoke like they're literally attacking each other right now. This is the craziest fight I've ever seen in my life. Guys, Blippi is way bigger and way stronger than Mario. We gotta go over there and help Mario win this fight. Come on. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Guys, look, they're gone! No oh way, guys! Blippi and Mario were literally just right over there a second ago fighting each other. And unfortunately, now they're both gone! They could still be over there somewhere. Let's go try to find them! So I hurried up and I hit over to the spot where we just saw Blippi and Mario fight us so that way we could hopefully find them. No way, guys! Unfortunately, I don't see Blippi nor Mario out here anywhere! Oh. Dang it! 
that was absolutely insane. Like, we literally just watched Blippi and Mario fight right out here in our cornfield. But unfortunately, we didn't watch the fight long enough. This what? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way. It's from Mario. And he said, I told you I was stronger than Blippi. Oh, my goodness. Guys, according to that message that Mario just sent us, it looks like Mario literally beat Blippi in the fight. I can't believe it. Mario is actually stronger than Blippi. I definitely was not expecting that. But guys, this video has been absolutely insane. And really quick, make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think should fight in our next YouTube video. But we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. And just really quick, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure that you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, I guess now this is the end of the video. I'm just gonna head inside and eat me 479 packs of Skittles. And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you guys, right now, something super legitimately like, insane is happening! It was approximately 7.6489 milliseconds ago, I was outside just running around my backyard to get my daily cardio in so that way I could get super manly masculine muscles! And while I was out on my run, I literally spotted something up in the Ow. distance! So I got up and I pulled out my binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of it! And you guys are never gonna believe it, but the thing that I saw was literally Curse Tommy! But my dudes, that's not all we saw. It gets even crazier. There was literally something right behind Curse Thomas, like, following him. And it looked like a miniature version of him. So, guys, I think Curse Thomas, like this person right here up on the screen, literally has a baby. Guys, this is super crazy, and I cannot believe it. And the area where we saw him at was literally just right over there. Let's hurry up and head over there so that way we can try to find Curse Thomas and apparently baby Curse Thomas. Come on! So I hurried up and I headed over there so that way I could search around for them. Alright, so right here in this exact spot is where I literally saw them at. And they were literally heading in this direction. Let's go search for them. So I started heading in the same exact direction that they were heading earlier so that way we could hopefully find them. What's this? Guys, look, it appears there's some sort of tracks right here. I wonder if Curse Thomas and baby Baby Curse Thomas made these tracks. Oh, uh, random stuff, you stupid idiot. Those are legitimately deer tracks. Hey, what? I literally thought those were Curse Thomas's tracks. This makes me so mad. Like, unfortunately, these tracks are not from Curse Thomas and Baby Curse Thomas. So now we can't follow them to track them down and find them. Dang it. But I'm not about to give up that easily. Let's continue searching around for them to try to find them. So I got back to searching around our creepy woods to try to find them. And then I hopped up on top of this tree. So that way I could use my binoculars to get a good bird's eye view of my surroundings. But I didn't see them anywhere. So I got down and just continued searching around our woods to try to find Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas. And we just kept heading farther and farther down into our woods to try to find them. No way, guys. Unfortunately, we just headed to the very backside of our woods. We're at a dead end. Like, it literally just leads to this creek. And that water is moving way too fast for us to be able to go across it. So this doesn't make any sense. Like, I wonder where they... What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way, it's literally from Curse Thomas. And he said, go back to where you saw me. Oh, my goodness. Guys, the text message that Curse Thomas literally just sent me 2.7849 milliseconds ago says, go back to the spot where you saw me. Me, which was literally all the way over there on the other side of our woods. He might be there right now. We gotta hurry up and run over there as fast as we can. Come on. After getting that text message from Curse Thomas, I hurried up and headed over to the last place where we saw him that whenever I tripped over this branch. But I got up like an absolute giga chat and just continued heading over there. I can see the spot where we saw him at earlier. And what's this? Guys, it appears there is something over there. Let me use my binoculars so that way I can see it better. <sighs> oh my goodness. Guys, it looks like it's a piece of paper or something. We gotta hurry up and head over there and figure out what it is. So I hurried up and I ran over to that piece of paper as fast as I possibly could so that way we could figure out what it was. It's right here. No way it is a piece of paper. It appears there's literally something on it. I wonder if this literally came from Curse Thomas and Baby Curse Thomas. And wait a minute, guys. It appears this is like some sort of map or something. And say what? It's literally a map of our back 
backyard. Like, this is our house right here, and that's our shed, and this is our pond. I wonder why Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas would leave us this map right here. Like, where is it even leading us to? But according to my calculations, we're literally right over here somewhere. And what's this? Guys, it appears there's some sort of red X right there on the map. That must be where Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas want us to go. Like, apparently, there's something right there that they want us to find. Guys, I'm gonna use my super manly masculine Google Maps calculation skills to follow this map precisely so that way we can get to the X to figure out what is there for us. Let's go figure this out. So I started following the map that Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas left for me so that way we could figure out what was at the X. And hopefully it was a treasure chest full of money so that way I could get extremely rich. Alright, so if we follow this map correctly, this is the exact spot where the X was at. So apparently this is literally where Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas wanted us to be at. Let's make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for whatever it is that we're looking for. No way! Guys, look, there's a piece of paper right there! And it appears that it literally has a phone number on it! I'm guessing this is the thing that Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas wanted us to find! Like, I think they literally want us to call this number! Guys, this is super creepy and I wonder why they want us to call this number! But I'm not scared, I'm gonna hurry up and dial it on my cell phone right now! So that way we can get to the bottom of this mystery and figure out why they left us this number! Alright, it's ringing! Hopefully whoever this person's number is answers! Come on, please pick up! No way! Guys, they actually answered! Hello? What's this? Guys, look, I can literally hear noises! And it sounds like it's like some sort of train or something! Maybe it's Curse Thomas and Baby Curse Thomas! Curse Thomas, Baby Curse Thomas, say something! Oh my goodness! Guys, they just hung up on me! But wait a minute! I can still hear the train! Oh my goodness! Guys, there's literally someone standing on the other side of our pond right now! Maybe it's Curse Thomas or Baby Curse Thomas! Let's use our super tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this! <laughs> say what? What? Guys, that's literally Blippi! And no way! That's baby Curse Thomas and he's heading right towards Blippi and oh my gosh! They're fighting each other right now! Like baby Curse Thomas just jumped at Blippi and now there's a big cloud of smoke and they're fighting! This is absolutely insane and the smoke just cleared away and baby Curse Thomas is running in the opposite direction! Guys, I can't believe that we just witnessed that! We gotta hurry up and head over there right now, come on! No way! Guys, look! Blippi is gone! Maybe they're still over there somewhere! Let's go search for them! So I hurried up and I headed over there so that way we could search around for them! Alright guys, well unfortunately it looks like Blippi and baby Curse Thomas are both gone! But that was absolutely insane! I can't believe that we just witnessed them fight each other like that! And it looked like Blippi literally beat him up! Guys, I wonder if that's why they left us that note over there with the phone number on it was so that way they could call us and let them know that they were gonna be fighting each other! But that's still super weird because whenever they answer answered the phone call, no one said anything. Maybe that's because Curse Thomas and baby Curse Thomas can't talk. Well, guys, this video has been super legitimately insane, and I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this, but if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below, and let me know what you guys would like to see in our next YouTube video. But we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here, just really quick, make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, that you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button, so that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But I guess now this video is over, I'm just gonna head inside and get me 6,479 Popeye's chicken sandwiches what? and then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you guys, right yeah. now something super legitimately insane is happening. Literally just 7.6489 milliseconds ago I found this random suitcase and we're literally gonna be opening it up right now on video for you guys so we can see what's inside of it. And hopefully there's a $1 million gift card to make inside of here because I'm like extremely hungry. Like it's literally been over 12 minutes since I last had something to eat. What? So make sure you guys go down below and absolutely demolish that like button because one like equals one prayer that that suitcase will have some food inside of it for me. But alright, I 
I guess before I waste any more time, let's go ahead and open up the suitcase to see what's inside of it. So I started throwing the suitcase around and then I joined Cena so that way we could get the suitcase open to figure out what was inside of it and then I started punching it with my fist so that way we could open it. Random stuff, that's not how you're supposed to open it. Like it literally has a latch on the side, you just need to open it up that way. Torg, I think you're right. Wait, there's literally these golden latches right here. I think we literally are just supposed to unclamp them to open up the suitcase. I can't believe I didn't think of that. All right, here we go. We're going to open it up right now. No way! Guys, look, it appears there was some kind of piece of paper inside of there! And oh my goodness! My dudes, this appears to literally be a map of our backyard! Like, as you guys can see, that's literally our pond right there, and like, that's our giant tree right there! I wonder why this map of our backyard would be inside of that briefcase! Like, apparently, whoever it was that left that briefcase out here for us wanted us to find this map of our backyard! And oh my goodness! Guys, if you look very closely right Right here, there's literally a red arrow, and it's literally pointing back in our woods. No way, guys. So whoever it was that left us this map literally wants us to head back into our woods. And our woods is literally just right over there. So they literally want us to go back into our woods for some reason. And unfortunately, the briefcase literally didn't have any food inside of it. So I'm still really hungry. But maybe the map that we found inside of the briefcase is going to lead us to some food. Let's follow this thing. So I started following the treasure map so that way we could hopefully find some treasure and it was leading straight back into our super creepy woods. Alright, so according to this map, it literally is telling us to head back there into our woods. But there's no more further instructions. Like, it literally just has an arrow pointing for us to go back there. And then once we get back there, it literally has no more directions. So I guess we're gonna have to be keeping a super manly bird's eye view oh, for whatever it is we're supposed to be looking for. Let's go head back there. So I hurried up and I ran back in our woods and we started searching around everywhere looking around for the treasure since this is where the treasure map told us to go. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, there's something right there. What in tarnation is this thing? I wonder if this is what the map wanted us to find. And it appears to be like a treasure chest or something. Let's hurry up and open it to see if there's anything inside of it. No way! Guys, look, there is something inside of it! And it looks like it's a piece of paper! Let's hurry up and unfold it to see what it is! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, it's literally a no! Like, it says something on it! Let's hurry up and read it to figure out what it says! Alright, it says... I'm going to fight Blippi! Say what? Guys, that note that we just found out here in our woods inside of that treasure chest 7.6489 milliseconds ago literally says I am going to fight Blippi on it! But as you guys can see on the note, it literally doesn't say who is going to fight Blippi! So unfortunately... Unfortunately, we have no idea who it was that left this note here for us. But apparently, whoever it was that did literally is telling us that they want to fight Blippi. And in order for them to have left us that note back here in our woods, they must be back here as well somewhere. So right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to hurry up and search around our woods to try to figure out who it was that left us this note, telling us that they want to fight Blippi. Let's go search for him, come on. So we hurried up and started searching around our woods to try to figure out who it was that left us that note telling us that they wanted to fight Blippi. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way. It's from baby Blippi. And he said, I'm the one that left that note. Oh my goodness. Guys, according to that text message that baby Blippi literally just sent me, he said he is the one that left that note for us. Which is absolutely insane because that means baby Blippi literally wants to fight Blippi. And if you guys do not remember Remember in our last YouTube video like this one right here up on the screen, baby Blippi was literally trying to find Blippi. Like he asked us to help him try to find him. And I wonder if he wanted us to try to help him find him so that way he could beat Blippi up. I don't know guys, this is absolutely insane. And apparently Blippi and baby Blippi are gonna be fighting each other in real life. And I'm not gonna lie, after getting that text message from baby Blippi, I'm extremely scared being out here. Because Blippi might
might try to attack oh me. God. So I'm going to hurry up and head inside where it is super safe. And then we will come out here tomorrow to search around for Blippi and baby Blippi. So that way we can watch them fight each other. But really quick, before your eyes gaze upon this super historical battle, make sure that you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think will win this fight. But yeah, I guess I'm going to go take me a 6,479 hour long nap so that way I am well rested. And then we will see you guys tomorrow. Um, peace out until then. Why are you running? The next day. Where are you going? I'm going. Guys, something super it's legitimately like insane is happening. There's literally something on the other side of our pond right now. Let's use our super high tech but not yours to get a better bird's eye view of this. Oh my goodness. Guys, that's literally Blippi and baby Blippi and they're both on the other side of our pond just staring at each other. What are they even doing? Oh my gosh. They're fighting each other right now like there's a big cloud of smoke. No way. This is absolutely insane. I wonder who's going to win this fight. And what's this? Guys, I literally can't see them anymore like they went behind that tree and they're gone now. No way, guys. Unfortunately, that tree over there is blocking our view and we can't see the fight anymore. We gotta hurry up and head over there right now so we can continue watching this. So I hurried up and I got down from the top of my roof as fast as I possibly could so that way we could continue to watch them fight each other since they went behind that tree. No way! Guys, look, they're literally gone! Let's hurry up and head over there and try to find them! After noticing that they both were no longer over there, I hurried up and headed over there so that way we could try to find them! Alright, so right here in this exact area is where we literally just witnessed that epic battle between Baby Blippi and Blippi! But sadly, as you guys saw, that tree was in our way and they went behind it and like we couldn't see them fighting each other! So unfortunately, we have absolutely no idea who won the fight! Dang it! So what I need you all to do right now is go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think won that fight. Like, do you guys think it was Blippi or Baby Blippi? And also, let me know what you guys think we should do in our next YouTube video. Like, should we come back out here to try to find them again? Or do you guys have any other ideas? But my Maybe. dudes, this video has been super legitimately insane. And just make sure that if you guys are not already subscribed, then go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button. So that way you do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, I guess we're gonna go Go and end the video right here because there's like nothing else that we can do. So I'm just gonna head to Hawaii and spend six thousand seven hundred forty-nine trillion dollars on a jet what? ski, and then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening. Just six point seven eight four three nine milliseconds ago, I literally got a text message on my phone, and you guys are never gonna believe who the text message was from. It was literally from Joe Biden. Yes, that is right. Literally, the president of the United States just sent me a text message on my phone, and he said random stuff. I have a challenge for you. There's a briefcase in your woods with one hundred trillion dollars in it if you successfully find it you can keep the money oh my goodness guys according to that text message that joe biden just sent me he literally said they hit a briefcase out in our woods with 100 trillion dollars in it and luckily for me we are already back here in our woods guys right now i need you to go down below and absolutely demolish that like button to wish me luck that we will find this briefcase because guys i could really use this money so that way I can build a submarine so that way I can search around in the ocean and try to find Aquaman because he's literally my hero. What? Let's go search around for the 100 trillion dollars. <laughs> and we see random stuff back in his super creepy woods looking around for the money that Joe Biden left for him. Will random stuff be able to find this money? Stick around to find <laughs> out. <laughs> I've been searching out here in the woods for like 678 years now, what? and I'm extremely hungry. If only there was like some food somewhere around here. What's this? Guys, look, it appears there's a random briefcase right here. I can just eat this thing so that way I'm not hungry anymore. You stupid. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, guys. I think this is the briefcase that Joe Biden literally wanted us to find. Like, I'm pretty sure there's literally gonna be a hundred trillion dollars in here because that's literally what he told us on the message my dudes this is absolutely insane and i can't believe it we literally have the briefcase right here in our hands all right we're gonna go ahead and open up our briefcase so that way we can get our money out of it <laughs> say what 
guys, look, there's literally no money inside of it. This makes me so mad. Joe Biden literally lied to me like there was no money inside of it. Matter of fact, unfortunately, there was nothing in the briefcase at all. Like not even a $10 McDonald's chicken nugget gift card. So now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to eat any. What's this? Guys, I just got a text message on my phone. And no way. It's from Joe Biden. And he said you just got pranked in 4K. Hey, what? My dude, Joe Biden literally just pranked me. What? I can't believe it. I actually fell for it. No. wasn't a hundred trillion dollars inside of that briefcase. I am still extremely hungry. Let's hurry up and search around our woods to try to find us some food that I can digest. Come on. What's this? Guys, I just got another text message. Maybe it's from Joe Biden. Oh my goodness. Guys, the text message wasn't from Joe Biden. It was literally from Nabna. Like this person right here up on the screen. And he said, I want to fight Blippi. No way. Guys, apparently Nab Nab literally just sent me a text message saying that he wants to fight Blippi. Which is super crazy because as you guys are aware, Blippi is like an undefeated boxer. So I can't believe that Nab Nab actually wants to fight him. Guys, maybe Nab Nab saw me texting Joe Biden on my phone and he knew that if he texted me that I would see it. So I'm an absolute genius. Sure like I'm pretty sure Nab Nab is literally watching us right now. Which means he's literally back here in our woods somewhere. Guys, right now our new mission if we choose to accept is to search around our woods to try to find Nab Nab. Come on, let's go. So I started searching around our woods to try to find Nab Nab whenever this happened. Oh, my sternum! After breaking my back, I just hurried up and continued searching around our woods to try to find him. No way! Guys, I just got another text message! And it's from Nab Nab! And he said, I'm gonna be fighting Blippi tomorrow! No way! Guys, I can't believe this! This is absolutely insane! Apparently, Blippi and Nab Nab are literally gonna be fighting each other in real life tomorrow! And this battle is gonna be super intense and chaotic! Because Nab Nab literally has like like a bunch of super sharp razor teeth. And as you guys are aware, Blippi is like an undefeated professional boxer. So this is gonna be super crazy and I have absolutely no idea who's gonna win. But really quick, before we witness this battle, make sure you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think is gonna win this fight. Boy, guys, I guess since the fight isn't until tomorrow, I'm just gonna get back to searching around our wood to try to find me some food. And then we will see you guys tomorrow whenever we watch this fight. Um, peace out until then. <laughs> Guys, I think that random stuff found the wrong briefcase that Joe Biden said was out here. So I'm gonna go get the 100 trillion dollars for myself. I can literally smell the money. The next day. All right, guys, so it is now the next day and something super legitimately insane is happening. You guys are never gonna believe this, but Blippi and Nab Nab are literally right over there on the other side of our pond. Look. And they're both just standing over there doing absolutely nothing. But as you guys are aware, Nab Nab literally told us that he was going to be fighting Blippi yesterday. So I'm guessing they're literally about to fight each other. Let's use our super high tech binoculars so we can get a better bird's eye view of this. All right, so as you guys can see, they're literally just standing there. Like none of them are doing anything. Like they're not attacking each other. Oh my goodness. Guys, Blippi and Nab Nab are now fighting each other like there's a big cloud of smoke. Guys, Nab Nab might literally be the first person to ever beat Blippi in a battle! They're still fighting each other like the cloud of smoke is still there! I wonder how long they're gonna be fighting to say what? My dudes, the cloud of smoke literally just disappeared! And there's literally nobody there! Literally neither Nab Nab or Blippi is over there! The cloud of smoke just literally disappeared and so did Blippi and Nab Nab! We gotta go over there and try to find them, come on! So I heard them and I ran over to the other side of our pond as fast as I possibly could so that way we could try to figure out what just happened to Blippi and Nab Nab! No way, guys! They're both literally gone! Like, this doesn't make any sense! They both just disappeared out of thin air! Dang it!
I was absolutely insane and I have absolutely no idea what just happened here. Like we literally don't know who won the fight or anything. It's like they literally got teleported to another dimension or something. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about this, but if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you think we should do about all this. And also, let me know what you guys think happened here. Like, why do you think they both just disappeared like that? But guys, this video has been super legitimately insane. And just make sure that if you are not already subscribed, then you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we can all miss any of our future YouTube videos. But I guess since this video is now over, I'm gonna go look around our backyard to try to find Blippi and Nab Nab to hopefully figure out what happened here. And then we will see you guys next time on Peace Out until then. Guys, I cannot believe that Nab Nab and Blippi just fought like that. But I don't even care about them. I'm still worried about the money in the woods. Because unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the briefcase that Joe Biden was talking about. I'm literally starting to think that there may not be $100 trillion in our woods like he said there was. But I'm not gonna give up that easily, my dudes. I'm gonna head back into the woods again and find this suitcase and get my $100 trillion. So we will see you guys next time. Peace. You sound my dudes. Guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening. Because 6.7839 milliseconds ago, I literally got a text message on my phone. And it says it's from an anonymous person. And they said, go to the big rock out in your backyard. Oh my goodness. Guys, apparently whoever it was that sent that text message, like the anonymous person, literally wants us to go over to the big rock out in our backyard. And the big rock that they are talking about is literally just right over there in our yard literally 2.7849 kilometers away guys i have absolutely no idea why this person wants us to go over there but whatever is over there could literally be like super dangerous and might try to beat me up it's a good thing i got my super manly masculine muscles if there's anything over there that tries to beat me up i'm just gonna punch it in the face all right i guess if we're wasting any more time let's go ahead and head over there to the big rock and see what is over there come on let's go so as you guys can see, the rock is literally right there. But I don't see anything over here. Like, there's literally nothing. What's this? Guys, look, there's something right here on the rock. Oh, wait, I wonder if this is the thing that that person wanted us to find. It's like literally a folded up piece of paper. I'm going to unfold it right now. Say what? Guys, look, it's literally a map of our backyard. This must have been what that person wanted us to find. And if you look very closely right there, there's literally a red X. Which means that must be where they want us to go. And maybe there's some treasure there. Like, hopefully it's a Taco Bell gift card because I'm extremely hungry right now. Guys, this is super bizarre and absolutely insane. And I need you all to go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because right now it is currently 3 a.m. And this person literally wants us to follow this map to the X. This is extremely dangerous and you guys are not going to want to miss this. Right now, our mission, if we choose to accept, is to head over there to this red X on this map and see if there is treasure over there. Come on, let's go. So I started searching around my backyard following the treasure map so that way we can hopefully find the treasure at the red X and figure out what it is. And I just continued using all of my brain cells to follow the map whenever it let us here. Oh my goodness! Guys, if I follow this map correctly, it literally is leading us right to this ginormous tree! So whatever it is that that person wanted us to find must be right here! Let's start searching around the tree! So now that we had successfully found the area where the treasure map wanted us to go, I started searching around the ginormous tree to try to figure out where the treasure was! Guys, maybe whatever it is that we're supposed to be looking for is inside of the tree! Like, as you can see, there's literally this giant crack in it! Let's take a look inside no way guys unfortunately the thing that we're supposed to be finding wasn't inside of the tree oh. either dang it so guys, I have absolutely no idea what we should do with this information. Like, we literally See? followed the map to the red egg like we were supposed to. And we found absolutely nothing at the tree. Oh. Maybe it is just too dark out here and, like, we can't see anything. And that's why we didn't find whatever it was that we were supposed to find. So we're going to head out here tomorrow whenever it is daylight out. And then we're going to head to this same exact spot at this giant tree to try to find whatever it was that we were supposed to be looking for. Like that random person wanted us to. So guys, sadly... 
this means that I did not get my Taco Bell gift card like I was wanting. So I'm gonna hurry up and head to my local Taco Bell and try to find me some free food inside of the dumpster what? because I have absolutely no money to afford food for myself. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow whenever we head back out here. Um, peace out until then. The next day. Sorry, I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> Guys, it's literally the next day and we came back out here to the same exact tree that we were at last night at 3 a.m. And you are never gonna believe this, but there's literally something over here! I have absolutely no idea what this thing is, but as you can see, it's literally just right there in the ground! <laughs> And I'm guessing this is the thing that we were supposed to find last night. Like, this must have been what the treasure map wanted us to find. And it appears to literally be like another folded up piece of paper. Let's hurry up and unfold it to see what this one is. Maybe it's like another treasure map. Oh my goodness! Guys, it appears to be a note! Like it literally says something on it! Oh wait, I'm gonna go ahead and read this note right now to figure out what it says on it! Alright, it says... I will beat him! Say what? Guys, the folded up piece of paper that we just found right here 6.7849 milliseconds ago literally says I will beat him! But like it literally doesn't even say who it's from or who they're gonna be beating! Or what they're even gonna be beating them at! But apparently this is what that treasure map was wanted us to find which doesn't make any sense like i have absolutely no idea why we would even need this i don't know i guess right now our new mission if we choose to accept is to try to figure out what that no oh my goodness guys no way it appears there's literally someone on the other side of our pond right now let's use our super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this say what guys that's literally blippy and he's just standing over there doing absolutely nothing i wonder if he's the one that left us that no and what's this Guys, I think that's literally Bowser! And he's literally walking towards Blippi right now, and oh my gosh, they're fighting each other like there's a big cloud of smoke! I can't believe this Bowser from Mario is literally fighting Blippi right now! And no way, Bowser just got knocked out to the ground, and he's just laying there! Guys, I can't believe that we just witnessed that fight like Blippi literally just fought Bowser! And Bowser's just laying down on the ground over there! We gotta go over there and get him, come on! After witnessing Mario and Bowser fight, we hurried up and ran over there to confront them! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, he's gone! No way, I can't believe it! Like, Blippi and Bowser were just right over there a second ago, and now they're both gone! We gotta go try to find them! After noticing that both Blippi and Bowser were both no longer over there, we started searching around the area, looking around everywhere to try to find them! No way, guys! I don't see Blippi or Bowser anywhere! Oh. Dang it! But I can't believe that! That was absolutely insane! Like, we literally just watched them both fight each other right here! And as you guys saw, it looked like Blippi literally knocked out Bowser! Which was absolutely insane! Wait a minute! Guys, I'm an absolute genius! I think the person that literally left us that note over there was Bowser! Because he literally said, I will beat him! So Bowser must have been telling us that he's gonna beat up Blippi in a fight! Because I'm sure as most of you are already aware of this, Blippi is like an undefeated champion! And literally no one has ever beat him in a boxing match before. So Bowser must have been telling us that he is strong enough to beat him. Which unfortunately, as you guys just witnessed right here, was not true. Like Bowser literally got KO'd by Blippi. Oh. But guys, this video has been super legitimately insane. And just really quick before this video ends, make sure that you guys go in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys would like to see in our next YouTube video. And also really quick before this video ends, make sure that if you are not already subscribed, that you go down down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But I guess now this video's over, I'm just gonna head to the McDonald's dumpster to try to find me some food there that I can eat. What? And guys, unfortunately, whenever I went to the Taco Bell last night, I literally found no food inside of the dumpster. So I didn't get to eat any food oh. last night. And I'm like extremely hungry right now. So hopefully I can at least acquire like 674 McDonald's chicken nuggets what? so that way I can protect myself from getting diabetes. Sure and that? we will see you guys next time. On oh, peace out until then. <laughs> Why are you Guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening! Just 6.3489 seconds ago, I was outside playing mini golf in my backyard! Whenever I accidentally hit my golf ball into my pond! And I literally couldn't get it out! Yes, guys, that is right! I literally hit the only golf ball that I had into the pond, and now I don't have any golf ball to play golf with! Dang it! So right now, my mission 
question if I choose to accept is to go out into our pond right now and search around for that golf ball so that way I can get it back. Because I really need to get back to training so I can beat Tiger Woods one day. All right, so right behind me in that general area is where my golf ball approximately landed in the pond. Now I'm gonna be taking this ginormous pizza with me out there as a flotation device to help me search around for the golf ball. Let's go search around for it. So I jumped out on my giant pizza to use it as a flotation device to search around for my golf ball. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I just searched around like the whole entire pond and I didn't find the golf ball anywhere. Oh. But I'm not about to give up that easily. I'm going to dive down into the depths of the pond and search around for the golf ball with my fair hands. So I hurried up and I got into position to dive into the water and then I just full sent it down into the depths of the pond to search around for the golf ball. And this was extremely what? dangerous, so make sure you go down below and absolutely demolish the life button. And then I just continued searching. Oh, guys, I think I got oh it. God. It's super heavy. Oh. What? In tarnation? Guys, it appears that I just found some kind of rare artifact or something. But no way, my dudes. I think this is literally like a dinosaur bone. I can't believe it. I'm going to be rich and my parents are finally going to be proud of me. Oh, random stuff, you stupid idiot. That's literally a weight. It's not worth anything. Oh, my goodness. Guys, apparently this is not an ancient artifact this makes me so mad i'm just gonna have to absolutely demolish this thing because it's not worth any money take this Why are you guys unfortunately i'm still like extremely poor now but that doesn't matter we still need to find my golf ball let's go search around for it even though i wasn't I hurried up and started searching around the park for the golf ball so that way I could find it and get back to training to be better than Tiger Woods. Yes! I found the golf ball! After 7,649 hours of intense labor, I finally found it and can now get back to training. I'm gonna go practice my golfing skills and then we will see you guys later. At today's What's This? I just got a text message on my phone. Let's see who it's from. Oh my goodness! Guys, the text message is literally from Blippi. And he said, I have a $1 million gold golf ball backing your awards. No way! Guys, according to the text message that Blippi just sent me 6.7849 milliseconds ago, he's literally saying that there's a $1 million golden golf ball backing our awards. And if you guys do not know who Blippi is, it is literally like this person right here up on the screen. And if you are not aware of this, he's like a professional MMA boxer. So maybe he's using this as bait to lure me back there so he can beat me up. But it doesn't matter. Blippi doesn't stand a chance against my super manly masculine muscles. And I really want that $1 million golf ball. And now just in case if Blippi tries to attack me, I'm going to be bringing my golfing stick with me as a defensive weapon that will keep me safe and protected. Protected. But all right, I guess before we waste any more time, let's go ahead and head over there and search around for it. Come on, let's go. After hearing that there was a $1 million golden golf ball back in our woods, I hurried up and ran back there as fast as I possibly could. And then I jumped off of this trailer and just continued running so that way we could get back there to find this golf ball so that way I could be extremely rich and have a $1 million golden golf ball to practice to be better than Tiger Woods with. Alright, so we are now back out here in our super creepy woods. And this is where Blippi literally told us the $1 million golden golf ball was at. So we need to make sure that we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view. Over this golf ball and blippy as well let's go look around for it come on What's that? Guys, I literally hear Skibbity Toilet! He's literally out here in our woods somewhere! I gotta get out of here before he tries to attack me! Run faster! He's literally chasing after us! No way, guys! I can't believe this Skibbity Toilet was literally back there in our woods! And if you do not remember in my last YouTube video, this same exact thing happened. Like, we literally heard Skibbity Toilet back in our woods, and we ran out of there as fast as we could! Guys, he's literally living back there in our woods right now! And I didn't bring enough weapons with me to defend myself to fight him off! So I'm gonna hurry up and head inside and come up with a super genius idea on how we can stop Skibbity Toilet! And then we will see you guys later whenever we come back out here to do that! Um, goodbye until then! Hmm. <laughs>
Why are you running? The next day. All right, guys, so it is now the next day, and I'm coming out here strapped with my broom. So we can head back into our woods to search around for Skibbity Bob Toilet and absolutely demolish him. But guys, before we could even head back there, I literally saw something on the other side of our pond. And you guys are not going to believe it, but I'm pretty sure it's literally Blippi. Let's use our super high-tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this. Oh, my goodness. Guys, that is Blippi, and he's just standing there on the other side of our And What's this? Guys, that Skibbity Bob Toilet, he just jumped on Blippi, and now they're fighting each other. But there's a big cloud of smoke, and we can't even see what's happening. What's this? Guys, the cloud of smoke is gone, and Skibbity Bob Toilet is still there, but Blippi is nowhere to be seen. Guys, that was absolutely insane, and I can't believe that we just witnessed them fight each other. Let's hurry up and head over there to try to figure out what happened. Come on. So I hurried up and I ran over there as fast as I possibly could so that way we could confront Skibbity Bob Toilet after he just won his fight. Hey, what? Guys, look, Skibbity Toilet is gone. No way, he was literally just right over here like 2.7849 milliseconds ago. And unfortunately, he is no longer over here. But guys, that was absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe it. We just witnessed Blippi and Skibbity Toilet fight each other in real life. And as you guys saw, whenever the cloud of smoke disappeared, it was literally just Skibbity Toilet over here. Like, Blippi was nowhere oh to be God. seen. And no way, guys. I'm an absolute genius. I think what literally happened was Skibbity Bob Toilet literally flushed Blippi down the toilet. Guys, this is absolutely insane and I can't believe it that Skibbity Toilet is literally stronger than Blippi which is super crazy because as you guys are already aware Blippi is like a professional MMA boxer like nobody has ever beat him in a fight before but as we just witnessed right here it appears that Skibbity Bob Toilet literally beat him so Skibbity Bob Toilet is now the new professional MMA boxer now I have absolutely no idea what we should do about all this but if you guys have any ideas then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know you we should do in our next YouTube video. Like, should we come back out here to try to find Skibbity Bob Toilet again because he's literally still out here somewhere? Or do you guys think we should maybe try to find someone else to fight Skibbity Bob Toilet to see if they can beat him? But guys, this video has been super legitimately insane and just make sure that if you are not already subscribed, then you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But man, guys, I'm like extremely exhausted now because I was literally inside searching around for that broom for like 365 hours. Hours. So I'm like extremely exhausted and also really hungry because I literally haven't had anything to eat all day. So I'm just gonna head to Walmart and eat me 6,879 Mr. Beast chocolate bars. What? And then we will see you guys next time. Um, peace out until then. Why are you on the Guys, right now something super legitimately insane is happening. Literally just 2.34869 milliseconds ago, I got a text message on my phone. And the text message is literally from Grimace. Yes, that is right. Literally Grimace like this person right here up on the screen just sent me a text message on my phone. And the text message says, go back in your woods. Oh my goodness. Guys, according to the text message that Grimace literally just sent me 3.6489 milliseconds seconds ago it literally says go back in your woods on it no way guys this is absolutely insane and apparently grimace literally wants us to go out in our woods right now and our woods is literally just right over here and all those trees back there oh guys this is absolutely insane because if you do not remember in my last youtube video like this one right here up on the screen we literally found grimace in real life and in that video we actually went to go search around for him back in our woods but unfortunately we didn't find him out there there. Dang it! did actually end up finding Grimace in that video, but he was like out on our road in our front yard, which isn't even by our woods. But now Grimace is literally telling us that he is back in our woods, so right now our mission if we choose to accept is to head back there and find Grimace. And I really hope we can find Grimace, guys, because in our last YouTube video, I literally went to McDonald's to get a Grimace shake, but unfortunately, I literally couldn't get one, which made me like so mad because Grimace literally told me to go to McDonald's to get a Grimace shake. And then whenever I got there, they literally didn't have them anymore. So let's hurry up and head back into our woods to find him. So I hurry up and I ran back into our woods so that way we could search around for Grimace. All right, so our woods is literally just right over there. And it looks extremely creepy back there. I'm literally risking my life right now like I could die. So really quick before we head back there, make sure you go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Because one like equals one prayer will make it out of the woods alive. But alright, I guess for wasting any more time, let's go ahead and head back there and find Grimace. And hopefully he'll give me a Grimace shake whenever I find him. 
All right, so we have now made it back out here into our woods. And me and Tord are literally going to be searching around this area to try to find Grimace. Hopefully, we can find him while we're out here. So me and Tord started searching around back in our woods, looking around everywhere to hopefully find Grimace. I'm armed and dangerous, baby. All right, so me and Tord have literally been out here in our woods for like 365 seconds now. And unfortunately, we haven't seen Grimace yet. But that doesn't mean he isn't out here waiting to continue searching searching around for him, so that way we can hopefully find him! Grimace up! What the heck? Look, there's something over there! Oh my goodness! Guys, no way! Torg is right! Like, there's literally something over there off in the distance! Here, Torg, take the camera! Let's go check it out! No way, guys! I can't believe it! There's literally some kind of note or something right here that was just on that tree branch! Like, as you can see, it literally says something on it! Maybe this note is literally from Grimace! Let's hurry up and read to figure it out! Alright, it says... I'm going to fight Grimace! Oh my goodness! Guys, apparently this note that we just found 3.6489 milliseconds ago literally says I'm going to fight Grimace! So guys, apparently whoever left us this note back here in our woods literally is telling us that they want to fight Grimace! Which means there's absolutely no way it was Grimace that left us this note because that would mean that he's going to fight himself! So there is literally someone else out here in our woods that is saying that they want to fight Grimace! And I wonder who it could have been that even left us that note out here! Guys, I guess right now our new mission if we choose to accept is to continue searching around our woods to try to figure out who it was that left us that note saying that they're gonna fight Grimace! And we also gotta make sure we're keeping a super manly bird's eye view out for Grimace himself! Because remember, he literally told us to come back here! Let's go search for him! After finding that note, we hurried up and started searching around our woods once again so that way we could hopefully figure out who it was that left us that note saying that they were gonna fight Grimace! And we were also looking around for Grimace because he literally told us to go back in our woods so that must mean that he is still out there somewhere! Oh my goodness! Guys, no way! There's literally someone standing right over there! Let's use our super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view of this! Say what? Guys, that's literally oh Blippi! God. And he's just standing over there in the middle of our woods! No way, I can't believe that Blippi is literally just standing right over there! We gotta go get him! Oh my goodness! Guys, look, he's gone! We gotta go search for him! After seeing Blippi in our woods, we hurried up and headed over there to try to search around for him so that way we could find him again! No way, guys! Unfortunately, it appears that Blippi is literally gone! Like, he was literally just standing right over here like 3.6489 milliseconds ago, and then he just disappeared out of nowhere! But guys, that was absolutely insane! I can't believe that we literally just saw Blippi out here in our woods in real life! And wait a minute, guys! I'm an absolute genius! Since we literally just saw Blippi standing right here a second ago, he must have been the one that left us that no earlier! No way, guys! This is super crazy! Like, Blippi's literally the one that wants to fight Grimace! And apparently, Grimace and Blippi are both out here in our woods somewhere! Let's continue searching around to try to find Grimace! After seeing Blippi out in our woods, we hurried up and just continued searching around the whole entire area back in our woods to try to find Grimace because he literally told us that he was back there! Alright, guys! Well, apparently, we literally don't see Grimace out here anywhere in our woods! Like, my legs are starting to get extremely tired, and I'm also getting really hungry! I guess we're just not gonna be able to find Grimace. What's this? Guys, I literally just got a text message on my phone! And say what? It's literally from Grimace! And he said, I'm gonna fight Blippi, and I'm going to win! Oh my goodness! Guys, apparently, Grimace is literally saying that he's going to fight Blippi! Like, according to that text message that he literally just sent me, he's saying that he's going to fight him, and that he's also gonna win the fight! And if you guys are not already aware of this, Blippi is like a professional MMA boxer. Like, very few people that have fought him have ever beat him in a fight. So this is gonna be very interesting to see who wins. Like, I wonder if Grimace is gonna actually be able to beat up Blippi like he said he could. Guys, I don't know. I'm extremely excited to watch this fight, and I wonder who's gonna win. And really quick, before we witness this super epic duel, make sure that you guys go in the comment section down below and let me know who you guys think is gonna win this fight. So yeah, guys, I guess there's literally nothing else we can do now until the fight happens. So I'm just gonna head inside and take me a 6,375 hour long nap, and then we will see you guys whenever we come back out here to watch the fight. Um, peace out until then. Why are you on the next day? Alright guys, so it is now the next day and something absolutely insane is happening! There's literally two people on the other side of our pond right now! And I'm pretty sure that's literally Blippi and Grimace! Let's 
for us to bright type, but no one goes to get a better bird's eye view of this. Oh my goodness. Guys, no way. That is Blippi and Grimace. And they're both just standing there doing absolutely nothing. What's this? Guys, they're literally fighting each other now. And there's a big cloud of smoke. No way. I can't believe this. Blippi and Grimace are literally fighting each other in real life right now. And what's this? Guys, the cloud of smoke just disappeared. And I only see Grimace there. Like, Blippi is nowhere to be seen. Guys, that was absolutely insane. I can't believe that we just witnessed that. We need to hurry up and head over there so that we can confront Grimace. Come on. After witnessing Blippi and Grimace fight each other, we hurried up and ran over there as fast as we possibly could to confront Grimace. Oh my goodness! Guys, look, he's gone! No way, guys! Unfortunately, neither Blippi or Grimace are over here on the other side of the pond where we just saw them fight at. But that was absolutely insane. Like, I can't believe that we literally just watched them fight each other. And it appears that Grimace literally beat up Blippi because Blippi was no longer over here whenever the cloud of smoke disappeared. So Grimace must literally be a better fighter than- Wait, stuff, there's something right beside you on the ground. Say what? Guys, look, Torg is right. No way, guys! I'm pretty sure this is literally Blippi's glasses! Like, apparently, they must have fell off while they were fighting each other! No way, guys! I can't believe this! Like, we actually have Blippi's glasses now! This is absolutely insane, and I cannot believe that we just witnessed that! Now, I have absolutely no idea what we should do about this, but if you guys have any ideas, then make sure you go in the comment section down below and let me know what you think we should do in our next YouTube video! Like, do you guys think we should come back out here to try to find Grimace again and maybe see if there is somebody else? else that can beat him in a fight? Or do you guys have any other ideas? Look guys, this video has been super legitimately insane and before this video ends, make sure that if you are not already subscribed, then you go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button so that we do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. But guys, I guess now this video is over, I'm just gonna head back over there to my boat and drive it around my pond. Because unfortunately, I didn't get to drive it earlier because like we literally saw Blippi and Grimace over oh. here. And now I'm like extremely sad guys because my boat is like 374 kilometers away and now i gotta walk all the way back over there and use like all of my energy so i guess i'm just gonna head over there to my boat and then we'll see you guys next time um peace out until then why are you on guys i still never got my grimace shake i can't believe it grimace literally just disappeared that was my opportunity to finally get one i guess i'm just gonna have to accept my defeat and go to mcdonald's and try to order one there and hopefully they still have them so yeah i'm gonna go to mcdonald's and try to get a grimace shake right now peace out my dudes <laughs> oh, that's do hot. it that's hot just do it don't let you